Which we play now? Oh, I've got an idea. Oh, okay, I'm listening. Hi, I'm Emily. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Bluey and Bingo sister moments on Bluey. See, Bluey comes first because she's Now you've got all that upset and angry in your hands. What do I do with it? Do you want to keep it? No, I don't want it. Well, what do you do with something you don't want anymore? Uh, give it to you? For this list, we're looking at a mixture of the most heartwarming and hilarious moments between the Healer sisters. Which sister moment is your favorite? Let, Let us know, know in the comments. comments. Number 10, squabbling. You always say you'll play with me and you never do. No, I don't. Yes, you don't. No, I don't. Wait, this is squabbling. Um, okay, we can play both, bingo. Yay, thanks, Bluey. Anybody with siblings knows that bickering is part of the deal. In this episode, Bluey and Bingo find themselves struggling to agree on their play, squabbling as a result. Now they, especially Bluey, try their hardest to stop it. Wait, is this a squabble? Uh, yes. <sighs> well, we have to stop it because I'm never squabbling again. Oh, okay. So you'll just have to agree with me on everything, okay? Okay, easy. While that leads to some comical moments, the girls can't avoid conflict forever. They end up hashing it out, voicing their issues in a frank conversation. Of course, this little quarrel is exactly what's needed. The thing is, Bingo and Bluey love one another unconditionally, even when they don't see eye to eye. I think you should agree with me on everything. I don't agree on that. Well, I do. Well, I don't. Uh-uh. We're squabbling. It's a touching reminder that sisters argue, but that's natural and even necessary. It doesn't take anything away from their bond. It's quite the opposite, in fact. I'm sorry, Bluey. I'm sorry too, Bingo. Hey, that squabble felt good. Number nine, younger siblings versus older siblings. Big brothers always beat little brothers. That's just the way it goes. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, are you ready for a friendly battle between younger and older siblings? It's Bluey and Bandit versus Bingo and Stripe, and the game is Squash, with a controller twist. I didn't even win once. Big sisters always beat little sisters. That's just the way it goes. <coughs> I'm going to the bubbler. The team you root for might depend on where you fall within your family's birth order, but there's no denying the competitive energy on display between the sisters, as well as Bandit and his little brother Stripe, is super relatable. No, I want us to win. Oh, really? Why is that? Because big sisters don't always beat little sisters. Of course, Bluey's reaction when she realizes Bingo is dejected from losing makes it clear her baby sis's happiness matters more to her than victory. So cute. Because I don't think Bingo's having any fun. Oh, you're such a good big sister. So can you? Nope. And once Bingo and Stripe finally get a win, it's nothing but good sportsmanship all around. Good game, little brother. Yeah, thanks, mate. Good game, little sister. Thanks, Bluey. There are no losers here, only adorable dogs with fantastic siblings. Number eight, making things right. Judo is so bossy. Yeah, she is, but she doesn't have anyone else to play with. Bullet to bug on the wall. Ding, ching. Sometimes we hurt the people we care about the most. That's what happens in Butterflies when Bluey, against her better judgment, listens to her friend Judo and leaves Bingo behind during a game. Things only get worse when they run away from the Red Healer a second time. Needless to say, our hearts break seeing Bingo so sad. Thankfully, it doesn't take long before Bluey tries to make things right. I'll never do it again, Bingo. I promise. Please, can we play together? The way she tears up when she thinks Bingo might not forgive her is devastating, but also speaks to how important her sister is to her. Of course the younger healer accepts the olive branch. No one to tickle his toes, ching ching. No one to blow his nose, ching ching. Nothing is going to keep these two at odds for very long. That is not how they roll. Number seven, learning to listen. How about we play the game where, um, where, um, uh, no, not that one. Have you 
noticed how in some cases, one sibling is more self-assured while another might struggle to take up space? This episode explores that dynamic, as Bingo can't quite express herself. Louie, you can't keep talking over Bingo. But she takes so long to say her ideas. She's having trouble finding her voice today. We have to help her. Oh, have I found my voice? Yes, you have. <laughs> First, we'd like to applaud the game of hairdressers the girls cook up. We'll never tire of watching as they work to rid Bandit of knits. As enjoyable as that is, the heart of the story is Bluey finding her ears. Though it doesn't happen instantly, she eventually learns to be patient, giving Bingo the time and support she needs to formulate her ideas. Um, um, um. Bluey, you say it. Okay, why don't we... Hang on. No. You keep going, Bingo. This in turn helps the little one become more confident, and the payoff is equal parts heartwarming and hilarious. And then cover him in knit powder, which is flour, and then break him with the rake. Yeah! What? You found your voice! And you found your ears! That's some wonderful sistering, if we do say so ourselves. I agree. Number six, taking turns. Dad, I want to be the piano. No, it's still my turn. Taking turns can be difficult. Dad, she's had this many turns. Part of being a sibling is learning to share and take turns. It's easy to get caught up in what you want to do, but you can't forget there's someone else by your side whose needs and wants are important too. Bluey and Bingo find their footing in this regard on more than one occasion. Who could forget their shopping cart adventures in Hammer Barn? Another prime example occurs in Magic Xylophone. Oh, what a splendid mustache you have. Ooh, lovely. It's my turn to unfreeze him. Unfreeze. It's all fun and games freezing Bandit with the titular instrument, but Bluey isn't really sharing. The ensuing bickering gives Dad the upper hand until the girls work things out and collaborate with iconic results. Bluey, you always never take turns with me. You just take all of the turns. And it makes me feel sad. I will unfreeze you if you promise you will let me have turns too. Hey, sisters are stronger and happier when they work together. And this is a top tier duo. Okay, Emily, it's your turn. <laughs> Here, Bingo, you can unfreeze him. Thanks, Bluey. Not just yet. I like the Daddy Water Fountain. Number five, silly grannies above all. Hey, you have to pay for those beans. Run, Marina! <laughs> ah. <laughs> I slipped on my beans. Bingo and Bluey are funny, lovable, and just all around amazing. You know which two people are also all of those things? Their grandmother alter egos, Rita and Janet, of course. The grannies show up a few times in the series, but we want to spotlight their eponymous episode. Rita and Janet are a hoot, wreaking havoc like their lives depend on it. Lovely day for a drive, wouldn't you say, Rita? Sure is, Janet. I'm gonna put these wet clothes on the line, put these... Oh. In a way, this is what we imagine the Healer girls will be like when they're seniors, still having a grand old silly time side by side. Good pocket spot, Rita. Thanks, Janet. <laughs> yeah. 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 The fact that Bluey ultimately swallows her pride when they disagree, because playing with her sister is more important than being right, makes it all extra unforgettable. Do you wanna be right? Or do you want Bingo to keep playing? Hmm. Can I have both? No! We're laughing and happy crying, help! Number four, Bluey teaches Bingo a valuable trick. Bingo, I'll race you back. Ah, uh, Bingo's a bit upset at the moment. I'm upset and angry. One of the best things about the Healer Daughters is that they're always there for one another. Since she's older, Bluey has picked up some tricks. She's anything but selfish, though, and is more than willing to share her wisdom. Take the events of Stickbird. Bingo is, as she puts it, upset and angry. But guess who has the perfect remedy? Yep, it's her sister. Okay, so you have to collect all the upset and all the angry. How do I collect 
upset and angry. You just feel where it is and go get it. Bluey walks the red healer through the steps to collect and dispose of her frustration, effectively giving her the tools she needs to let the hurt go. You throw it away. Oh. Uh-uh, like Mum said, you need to throw this thing really far. It's a priceless moment that always makes our hearts swell. So how do you feel? Good. Yay! Thanks, Bluey. It's not the only example of this sort of mentorship either. We can't do the show without you. Could they be any more precious? Number three, Bingo comforts Bluey. I'm super annoying. Really? Yeah, I'm just different annoying. Remember what we just said about these two always being there for each other? We've talked about how Bluey shows up for Bingo, but it's not a one-way street by any means. Allow us to elaborate. In this episode, Bluey thinks Bandit and Chili would prefer her if she were just like Bingo, and is feeling discouraged as a result. Double Bingo! <laughs> I could definitely get used to this. What? Bandit? Oh, I, I didn't mean... Oh, Bluey, wait! Big Bingo! Being the darling she is, though, actual Bingo is there to save the day and provide a much-needed confidence boost. Are you okay? Mom and Dad want to abuse. They don't want any of me's. It's very rude. It's because I'm annoying. And you're not annoying at all. She promptly comforts her big sis, even owning her own annoying tendencies. <laughs> Bingo! What? <laughs> Stop it! You're freaking me out! It's a beautiful moment of pure, humble, and unfiltered sibling solidarity that opens the door for the pair to have a blast. You go, girls! Number two, missing each other. Hey, Bingo, you move your bed to where mine was. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, that's fine. I did it so we can still watch Malcolm. Oh yeah, good one. Did you ever share a bedroom with siblings? If yes, we're betting there was a time when the thought of having your own space was deeply exciting. But if you got said space, perhaps you found yourself missing your roommate? Bingo and Bluey know something about that. When the healers create a bedroom for the latter, the girls go their separate ways. Across the hall, but still. Night, Bluey. Night, Bingo. Sleep tight. You too. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Take care of Gloria. And Lampy. Yes, I will. They keep finding excuses to interact after nightfall. It's obvious they miss each other tremendously and need their old setup back. This duo is a unit forever, and it's the sweetest thing. What else do you need? How about one last message? Seriously, the sight of them sleeping in the same bed at the end wrecks us in the best way. Give us this sisterly love forever. But you'll have to move Louie's bed back in the morning. Oh, what? Does she miss her old room? No. It's not the room. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Racing to the top of Mount Mum and Dad. That little snuggle always gets us. I'm sorry I cheated, Bingo. That's okay. I'm a cheeky rabbit sometimes. Hehe. <laughs> I think I'm more like the slow tortoise. Bluey cheers a sick bingo up. Even from afar, Bluey knows exactly what her sister needs. Everyone gets sick sometimes. Not just Bumpy. Being sick is just a part of life. Fancy ladies. Being fancy never looked quite as fun as it does here. Did you enjoy that spa bath, Olympia? Oh yes, Melinda, I certainly did. Bingo defends Bluey, because that's what sisters do. She worked really hard on those drawings. I know, but... That's a picture of me. You're throwing away Bluey. <laughs> You're a baddie. Melting ice cream. It hurts seeing their treats dissolve, but their little dance never gets old. Oh, my ice cream! It's melted! Mine too! Number one, all the playing. Hey, Chef! What? What's the special? The what? The special! The what? You've probably noticed that many of the moments we've looked at are rooted in play. Indeed, it's a common thread throughout the series. Bingo and Bluey are often bringing imaginary worlds such as Rug Island to life and or adopting various personas, like a server and a chef, or a queen and butler. I am so beautiful. I am so lovely. Ooh, and sparkly. 
From keepy uppy to bus and beyond, they immerse themselves in every game. More often than not, they do this as a team. Hey, nice strategy, balloon girls. I'm a keepy uppy expert. Yes. It's a testament to their enduring relationship. They're like each other's best friends, and watching them find the joy in life together in these ways speaks to a truly special sibling experience. Wow, so beautiful. I made a special. You use real food. Is that special? Yeah, that's really special. Their playing may be filled with make-believe, but there's nothing more real and wondrous than their unbreakable sisterly connection. Thanks for looking after me. That's okay, honey. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.